Machu Picchu, a stunning Inca citadel located in the Andes of Peru, dating back to the 15th century. This place truly feels magical and if it isn't on your bucket list yet, I would seriously consider adding it onto it. Good morning, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am currently in Cusco at Plaza de Armas, which is like the main plaza here. And it is at the moment six in the morning and we are today leaving for a two day, one night trip to Machu Picchu. And then we're gonna stay overnight in Aguas Caliente, which is the town right next to Machu Picchu. And then tomorrow morning, bright and early, we are going to the famous Machu Picchu that has been chosen as one of the new seven world wonders. It's gonna be crazy to actually visit Machu Picchu in real life. It's one of those places you see millions of pictures of your whole life and it feels like such a distant place and yeah tomorrow we're actually going to visit it so that's crazy there was several different options on how you could do this tour and we decided to go with the most budget-friendly option that we could find because visiting Machu Picchu is surprisingly expensive like just the tickets themselves are like 40 bucks or something and it's also quite difficult to get tickets like you have to book them quite in advance unless you do it through a travel agency which is what we did so you could have done a day trip to Machu Picchu but this was really really expensive like the cheapest day trip option that I found was $250 and I think that's a lot for a day trip then you can also do different kind of treks that take like four or five days to Machu Picchu there's the famous Inca trail and then there's the Salkante trail but these were also quite expensive and quite physically demanding and yeah at the moment we didn't really feel like doing a five day trek we rather want to save that money for for another slightly longer tour that we're gonna be doing. So we found this a bit more budget-friendly option, which is that we're actually gonna take the bus there. You can also take a train there, but the train is very, very expensive as well. I think it's like 70 bucks one way or something, but we're taking the bus. It is gonna be a long journey, like seven hour bus ride. In total, we now paid for this tour $110. And yeah, the second cheapest option I saw was like $250. So it is very, very much cheaper and for budget backpackers, that was perfect for us. So yeah, maybe if you're also looking to do Machu Picchu a bit more on a budget, this could be an option for you. are having a short break where you can use the bathroom and buy something from a little shop and that kind of stuff. Look at these surrounding mountain views. Wow, amazing. I believe we're getting closer and closer, but this last part of the route is kind of crazy. It's just a little, little like dirt road and there's a huge drop <laughs> down next to us. I must say, I wouldn't personally <laughs> want to drive here necessarily. Now starts the walk to Aguas Caliente, which is the town where we're gonna stay overnight. And yeah, it's supposed to be a few hour walk. We heard from some women that we met a few days ago that it's like 10 kilometers, but the tour provider said it was less than that. So let's see how long this walk actually is. At least it looks like the surroundings here are very, very beautiful. I'm very glad we didn't bring a lot of stuff because we did hear that it is a bit of a walk so you want to carry as little as possible luckily we were able to leave our stuff by our hostel so now i only have this little bag that's like half empty and i have my sling bag let's hope this walk will be all right Seems like the walk to Aguas Calientes is 10.4 kilometers. So we're doing like a proper hike now.
This is a proper jungle hike for sure. And now we're walking here by the train tracks. Seems a bit sketchy at some points when the trains pass. It's really beautiful though. now in Aguas Calientes trying to find our hostel. This town, Aguas Calientes, looks really cool. Very touristic, but it's very cute. I like it. <laughs> so cute. We have now arrived to our accommodation. It is included in our tour price. Although this doesn't really feel like a tour, it's more like that they fixed things for you. It's not like you're with a group. There's no guide. Well, apparently there's supposed to be a guide for tomorrow for Machu Picchu itself. Yeah, it's a bit confusing everything because of that, because we never really know where to go and stuff. Luckily, I have a SIM card, so I can keep in touch with the tour provider and ask him questions where to go and what to do and everything. If we wouldn't have that, I'm not sure sure what we would have done to be honest i'm not sure how happy i am with the tour provider itself it's all been a bit i don't know chaotic also now when we arrived to our accommodation they first couldn't find or they couldn't find our reservation and our tour provider had to call them and yeah we did manage to check into our room looks very basic we have one big bed one small bed, nothing special. And then soon we're going for some dinner and the dinner is also included in the price, but let's see if our names are on the list once again, fingers crossed. It was a nice walk, quite a long walk and like surprisingly tiring, like it was more than 10 kilometers and the terrain's like very rocky and stuff. Also for the last like half an hour or so of the walk, it started raining. I do think tomorrow is gonna be quite a tough day though, because we still need to walk all the way back. We have decided that we're going to pay a little bit extra going to Machu Picchu and take the bus, because otherwise we would have to wake up at like 4 a.m. and walk for two, three hours up a mountain. And yeah, it just sounds like too much because then we also have to still walk in Machu Picchu, walk down and walk those 10 kilometers. And it's maybe a bit too much. And by taking the bus, we can sleep in a little bit longer. And this way we can a bit save our energy for Machu Picchu itself. Actually, according to my phone, we've walked more than 15 kilometers today. I believe the walk here was longer than 10.4 kilometers for sure, because I don't think my phone would be this off with the stats. If you want to visit Machu Picchu as relaxed as possible, as comfortable as possible, then you for sure should take the train. You can decide, do you want to do a little hike two days in a row, like today and tomorrow, or do you want to be comfortable and take the train? we decided to spend an extra like 10 12 euros uh, for this bus ticket it was like 45 solas we 
are now by the entrance of Machu Picchu. We also have a guide included in our tour, which is great. What is less great is that I'm really hungry because breakfast was supposed to be included in our tour as well, but there's some kind of mishap again. <laughs> and we didn't get the breakfast even though I texted our tour provider and he said it should be included or that it is included but the hotel said it's not included so we didn't get any breakfast now so I'm a bit hungry but oh well. We've gotten so lucky with the weather, it's dry and the sun is even shining a little bit and apparently yesterday at the same time it was so foggy that you couldn't see anything. Today it's also foggy but like just the right amount to add to the mysterious feeling and atmosphere. Not so foggy that you can't see anything so super lucky. believe that I'm actually here. Wow. It looks incredible. It feels unreal. Like the scenery, I keep thinking it's like a green screen or something because, wow. I'm having a hard time believing that this is real life. It feels so magical and so, it's so beautiful and yeah, makes you a bit speechless almost. The tour of Machu Picchu was amazing. I definitely recommend getting a tour guide so that you can truly get everything out of the experience. For us it was included, but even if it wouldn't be for you, you can easily hire one at the entrance gates. What I liked about our tour guide was that he was Quechuan himself, so we truly got to hear about everything from a local perspective, with his roots deeply connected with Machu Picchu, making him very passionate about it. legs are so shaky after walking down all those steps. I don't know how people walk them up like especially super early in the morning. I'm a bit worried how I'm supposed to do still 10 kilometers <laughs> now after that. Oh no, it seems like there's maybe more steps. Oh, we're not even down yet. I can't believe it. We have made it back to where we were dropped off yesterday. We met a nice American couple. They were on the same tour the Machu Picchu today. We walked together. That was nice. Kept us a bit company. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm so tired. <laughs> but we made it. I can't believe it. 